Thank you for inviting me to speak at the Beyond Expo. Several weeks ago, Jason came to my office and told me his dream of helping technology innovators get the impacts of various industries in our society, now and in the future. His idea is Beyond Expo, eventually in the metaverse. Today's sessions are about the metaverse, which is of tremendous interest lately, not just to the whole IT industry and the academic world, but to the general public and the policy makers as well. There is this extraordinary explosion we have seen in demand for talent, capital, technology, and the cooperation in this space. I have been in the technology industry for over three decades. There are three types of innovations we should pay attention to. Technology innovation, product innovation, and the business model innovation, among which technology innovation is the most powerful. It's no exception for metaverse. I appreciate this opportunity today to share my views on metaverse, especially where we are heading from technology point of view. The concept of metaverse was introduced 30 years ago by Neil Stephenson. A glance at the global and the Chinese markets reveals that metaverse is by no means just an experiment for small scale players, but a landscape to explore the next stage in technology, society, arts, and the more. People were initially excited about the metaverse because of the publicity from Facebook's name change to Meta and the excitement about the Roblox successful IPO. With the turbulence in valuations of metaverse-related concepts in private and the public markets, people now view the metaverse opportunity more rationally. This is why I want to go back to the technology foundation that defines how and when metaverse could come to reality. Many technology components, such as AR, VR, AI, blockchain, are making great progress lately, which is very encouraging for people like me dreaming about building metaverse. To understand the metaverse, I'd like to define metaverse technology in four layers, application, interaction, entity, and the protocol. Applications where human beings would experience metaverse and participate in activities to accomplish certain purposes. Interaction is the physical process where human beings connect with the metaverse, perceive the metaverse, experience the metaverse, and have fun. Through interactions with others, human beings can impact, change, and build the metaverse. But what kind of entities will exist in the metaverse? How entities in the physical world get reflected in metaverse? What about AIs in the metaverse? How do we define and create entities in the metaverse and specify the rules for the activities? And just like the physical universe where time and space should be defined, Metaverse needs its own protocols to define how everything is connected and how information gets exchanged. Many important problems need to be addressed. For instance, how do we define the ownership of any entity? A good way to understand these technology layers is to compare them with counterparts in the physical world and the internet. In fact, many people view metaverse as a significant extension of the internet as we further move into the virtual world. First, 
application. In the physical world, for instance, a market is an application where people come to sell and buy goods on the internet. People can stay at home and order goods with e-commerce applications. In metaverse, people can try and experience the goods in immersive ways before ordering them. Second, interaction. In physical world, people use pen, paper, speech, language to exchange information. With the internet, people use PC and the smartphone and they interact with apps like WeChat on a 2D flat screen. With high quality AR, VR equipment, people can immerse in the metaverse and have much richer multimodal information exchange. We have come a long way with AR, VR technology. Yet, great challenges remain in building powerful and lightweight AR glasses. It's great to see exciting brain-computer interface research lately, although it's far away from being practical. Third, entity. Entities in the physical world can be persons, companies, organizations, and all sorts of objects. Interestingly, entities are not clearly called out in the internet. Rather, entities are mechanically incorporated into independent web apps on the internet, which has led to walled garden defined by our powerful apps. By introducing entities back in metaverse, we make sure that entities are not defined by apps, but belong to the entire society or metaverse. Finally, space-time protocols. The physical world can be accurately defined in space-time coordinates. For instance, distance and the relationship with protocols like HTTP and HTML. The internet has its own definition of relationship and the distance. With the help of blockchain, we have records of activities and the relationships between human beings, AI beings, and the objects in the metaverse. We should have metaverse equivalent protocols like HTTP, HTML, and definitely need to have a browser for the metaverse so that we can keep exploring the metaverse. To put this technology layers together. Let me show you an example of AI beings in Metaverse. This newly released app called Xiao Ice Island or Xiao Bingdao in Chinese is where human beings, AI beings and objects interact in a Metaverse. When you start the app, get on Xiao Ice Island, you get to meet 10 AIs with various capabilities like seeing and chatting. Xiao Bingdao is a human computer science creation. Here, there are various kinds of humans who are reading. They will 也出自尝到了创作的经验而这些只是小冰岛生活的一小部分，更多的惊喜等着你去发现。One could also view Xiao Ice Island as the first AI social network in metaverse. Like it or not, we are entering the metaverse as we spend more and more time in the digital world. Here at the Beyond Expo. Many exciting metaverse technologies, applications, and the systems are on display. I'm looking forward to today's sessions. 
that cover a variety of topics in Metaverse, from smart city to branding, from entertainment to hardware. We are at the beginning of a long journey into Metaverse. The best way to predict the future is by creating it. There is so much to be invented in the Metaverse, from technology to product to business model. Let's do it together. Thank you very much.